G'day, I'm Warwick Schiller and today I want to talk to you about horses that want to push into you with their shoulder. You know, it's a pretty common occurrence and lately I've been talking a lot about only asking yes questions, meaning only asking your horse to do something they can actually do. And in a perfect world, that's a great way to go about things. You know, like if I'm working with a horse and training a horse, I like or retraining a horse, I always like to try to ask yes questions. So I set the situation up to where I know I'm going to get a yes answer. That builds their confidence in your decision making skills. Um, it just you get a lot of trust out of it. But sometimes, you know, you, that's in a perfect world. And sometimes you have things pop up that you cannot, you don't have the tools to fix and you've got to work on it. And recently we had a clinic here and there's a lady at the clinic and she had a big frisian and all he wanted to do was kind of stand on top of me not he doesn't want to doesn't want to you know he's not being mean or malicious or trying trying to push me around but he wants to stand on top of me kind of like a foal wants to stand up against their mother and you know use their mother as a bit of a backstop and the first day handling him i was trying to get him off me and he's pretty much oblivious to anything you might do he's like humans on the ground you know there is no response to anything you ask you know i i pulled the flag out and i was trying to get him off with the flag i just couldn't get him to move off with the flag so i i asked a lot of no questions initially trying to figure out what could work and eventually i settled on a technique that i actually saw elsa sinclair do at a horse expo in new zealand last year and all you do is you just say i i'm not going to engage in that behavior so all you do is let's say this horse was trying to push in me with this shoulder all i would do is just turn and walk that way towards his hind end like towards right there and they try to push into you and try to push into you and try to push into you and they can't catch you and eventually they go and they'll stop trying to push into you and um there's a bit of a clip here that shows a couple of times i worked w when i was working with him now, so right here, he's trying to push into me. So I'm going to walk around here, and he's trying to run into me, 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 trying to run into me. And right there, he just gave up trying to run into me because he couldn't catch me. Does that make sense? He was trying to push into me with that shoulder. Now, this horse doesn't have a much response to my asks, so trying to get him off me doesn't work. Does that make sense? Okay, so, see right here, he's trying to run over me, and I'm going to go, I'm not interested. Solomon. Um, so there's certain things you can't pull harder. Where's Amber? With your back up the other day, I had okay. you. So he's trying to push into me. I'm just going to step back here towards his flank and say, you can push into me. Oh, you like Solomon. Come on, do it. You can do it. Do it. Run over me. Come on. Come get me, big boy. And he's like, no, nah, no, I don't really need to run over you. So instead Solomon is now standing still. He's been trying to run over me while I've been telling this story and I've just been avoiding that, avo not avoiding it, but it's going, not interested, not interested, but I've been doing it in such a way that he can't run over me. And I've been stepping in, like right here, his shoulder's coming towards me, so I'm gonna step backwards in towards his flank. And he's still trying to come over here, 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 and Remember I told you the story about the lady that tried to get a horse to side pass a minute ago? Okay, why did it stop side passing? Because it didn't work. Why did he stop trying to run over me? Because it doesn't work. You know, and he wasn't that bad, He was because he was mostly trying to, you know, just stand real close to me. But sometimes those horses will really drop their shoulders into you and like try to mow you down. But the secret to it is, is you're going to walk back this way straight back there where they, they can't catch you. If you've ever seen, if you've ever seen uh, a bullfighter, like a rodeo bullfighter, when the bulls come at them, they'll usually, they'll fake them out and act like they're gonna get that way. But then they step this way and they step right in there. And those bulls can't get them because they can't make that turn. If they stepped over here, that bull can make that turn and get them. So if you, when you do this, don't walk a big circle because you'll get run over. Walk in really, tight back in there but probably the biggest part of this whole thing the absolute biggest part of it is is your internal energy what you cannot do you cannot be standing here and the horse goes to push into you and you try to stop them from pushing into you 
and then oh and then run away okay because that once again that's getting a, a a no answer you're asking for something you don't get it and then you run off so you can't have any shrinking back energy you can't be like oh 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 you can't have those pictures in your head basically what you've got to be able to do is go I'm not interested in, 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 in uh, I'm not interested in engaging in that behavior okay it's not a scared energy it's not an angry energy it's none of those energies it's like nope I'm not interested and you just turn and you walk this way you just walk around and around and around and around and around and at some point in time they will stop moving their feet and that's when you stop and it works it works ridiculously well but it only works well if you can come at it mentally right because otherwise they are pushing you around and that will come out in some other behaviors that they have so you've, you've just got to make sure that you just you just decline their request to engage with you in that way you would just go no thanks not interested but you really can't have that i'm concerned i'm worried all that sort of thing so if you have one of those horses you may have to prepare yourself a bit mentally ahead of time and have a mental rundown of what you're going to do so that you don't have those instinctive reactions but it's it's a great way to get a horse that wants to push their shoulder into you to not push their shoulder into you anymore without actually making any corrections or doing anything so anyway that's uh just a little bit of a clip about horses that push their shoulder in you and i hope it helps see you guys next time